At Center for Initiative IDA Data, CID is an OSEP-funded technical assistance center. The objective of CID is to support states with the integration of their IDA data with their general education data to support policy decisions for improved outcomes for children and families. The original grant for CID required us to develop the Generate application. It is a system based on the common education data standards that supports states in the integration of their IDA data with their general education data. States that implement Generate are finding that Generate streamlines the process, taking much less time, allowing the staff to work with their local education agency staff or LEA staff to better understand and use the data and make better programming decisions for their children. So as a data coordinator, my typical daily objectives are to review data elements, make sure that our collection system is accurately collecting what we need for the different stakeholders, such as teachers, state level personnel, and legislators. Some of the challenges that WVDE faced before working SID on Generate was mainly efficiency. There were several people involved in the collection cleaning and reproduction or submission of the EdFax files. Now with the ETL stored procedures, we are able to pull the data, get them into Generate, do our internal and IDC edit checks to make sure it is valid and reliable data, create the EdFax files and submit those much more quickly. We use the additional time to verify our process documents, do post-submission reviews, and improve the collection system. CEDS is a community-driven data standards and set of tools across the early learning to workforce educational spectrum. It supports data systems and data use to improve educational outcomes for students and families. CEDS resources and tools can be used by anyone that does data systems and management work. Developers can use the systems and tables in CEDS to build solutions for data users. Researchers can use CEDS to look up research questions and data use cases. Policymakers can use data out of CEDS data systems to inform policy decisions and administrative work to improve outcomes for children and families. Our work with the CEDS data elements have improved our process in West Virginia by helping us identify missing or redundant data elements. So for example, with discipline, we have identified a more specific need for severe bodily harm to improve our accuracy of reporting. By improving data quality, we are able to improve outcomes for students in the state by working with the local educational providers to have a better understanding of their data and how they can use it to improve the results and compliance measures that are collected by the federal government. I first learned the value of having high quality data as a teacher in the classroom, picking data on my students to show their progress and to adjust teaching strategies. I then found the value of high quality data in a school district when I examined discipline data to convince others to implement positive behavior intervention and supports. So improving data quality and availability within the state improves the educational outcome for students with disabilities by allowing the local educational providers to use their data more accurately. They are able to see the measures of compliance and results and improve the targeted measures that they are deficient in. Stakeholders can support the work of CID by engaging in the Common Education Data Standards open source community. Engaging in CEDS in the open source community, supporting the development of the standard, commenting on elements, and contributing to the community are all ways to support states in their effort to implement, generate, and support policy decisions. State staff and stakeholders can learn more about CID and our efforts by visiting our website or following us on LinkedIn and Twitter.